Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Here's uh, another video showing some of my car boot sale finds. Um, it's been a really good weekend, the weather's been with us, and I've bought that much stuff, I've split it up into a few films. It's just too much stuff to put into one film, otherwise I'm just going to rush over the items um, and you won't have a proper description. So. I've cut it up into a couple of films. Um, I'll film them both now and I'll release one each day. Um, but it's really been a really uh, good weekend. Um, the only car boot sale i done today, uh, Sunday, was Gethly Gear. Um, it was massive, two full fields, and it really paid well. Normally I do three or four on a Sunday. Um, start in Gethley Gay, go down to Cardiff, go down to Penarth, and possibly up to um, either Madley um, or Abergavenny. But as you'll see, there really was no need. I bought really well, um, so I'm happy enough. Uh, anyway, what we got here is I got a little bit of metal wear, um, some jewellery, some crystal, um, a nice little mix. Uh, so I'll show you these few items in this uh, video, so I hope you find the, uh, the items interesting, guys. Okay, the piece I'm going to start with here is a nice um, crystal, cut glass crystal uh, picture frame. This piece is produced by Marquis, uh, by Waterford Crystal. This is Waterford when it transferred to Austria, as opposed to uh, when it was in Ireland. Same company, just produced in a different country now. Um, obviously the quality at BM Waterford is spectacular. It's in uh, good condition, didn't come boxed. Um, it's lost, what it has lost is the little bit of wood that will come down here to hold it up. Believe it or not, that was sat on a table for a pound. It says Waterford on it. What more do you want? Beautiful little uh, cut glass crystal frame. So that's going to go out somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds, no problem. Next piece we have is a little model of a deep sea diver's helmet. Obviously, it's not. A deep sea diver's helmet. It's just um, a reproduction or a model of what they used or they used to use. It's in copper and brass, exactly the same as the original would have been. Very, very decorative piece. All uh, the glass lenses are all intact. It's got a little dent on the top here. I can push that out as this hollow. I think these were made in about the 50s, somewhere on there, 50s, 60s, as decorative items. Um, but I have sold them in the past. Last one of these I had, I sold for about £75. Um, so once I pushed the dent out, um, yeah, £75 will be going up. It came in this morning in Gethley Gay for a fiver. Believe it or not, I was bouncing when I bought it. Um, anybody who's into nautical will love to have that on a desk or on a shelf. Really, really nice, interesting item. And I come across to a little bit of jewellery. What we have here is a beautiful polished stone necklace with solid silver mounts. Now the stone is anakite. Um, now I've had a look on eBay, I've never heard of it before. And believe it or not, some of this stuff can be up over £100. Necklace like this is probably £20-£30 again. Um, but it's certainly a stone I'm going to keep my eye open for. And it is really, really attractive. Beautifully polished with some lovely veining. So that was a nice necklace. Uh, that was a pound again. Certainly can't fault that. We come across here to... Silver set with diamonds, um, just a standard bracelet, fully stamped. This was three pounds. I believe it does have one diamond missing. 
out of it. I think it's by there. But it doesn't matter either way. For the three quid, it's for nothing. Next, we'll have a very large 1930s Murano Agate flapper necklace. These are glass beads simulating agate. Uh, produced by Murano with little gold plated beads separating each one of the glass beads. Um, it's very long, it's probably about 36 40 inches long. Um, and basically, would go around and you tie it in the knot. It's a fl typical flapper necklace. Um, on eBay, they can range unbelievably amount. You can have one necklace sell for a tenner, the exact same necklace sell for 50. So it is hit and miss with those. Here we have a little model of the human body. I don't have all the parts, unfortunately. Um, that I have the chest cut, uh, chest piece here, all the organs, the brains in there. It's lost the one side of the head and the rest of the uh, stomach. Um, really decorative now I've seen full-size models of these and they go for serious money this is more I don't know if you'd class it as a toy or whether it's like a classroom made for students I don't know however it come in it was three pound and I'm gonna put 25 pound on it and somebody you know doctor's office or a school or university anything anyone like that it's going to be a decorative little feature on the uh, on a shelf. I haven't had one of these for quite a while. I have no problems in selling them. I doubt this one's going to struggle either. Next is a, a pretty standard bit of silver. Um, it's nine two five, fully hallmarked. Now it, it's about thirty grams in weight. Now the reason. Um, I'm showing this more than um, just a quick breeze over it was for the plain and simple reason I bought this at the end of the day now when you go to car boot sales you will see the dealers diving in the boxes any jewelry and they'll buy all the gold and silver and you can be hard-pressed to find gold and silver at a car boot sale after the first hour however this was bought at the end of the day so obviously the dealers done the quick half hour or hour run round first thing this morning then they shot off to another car boot sale and didn't wait for other cars to come in. When I went round at the end of the day, this was in the box for 50p. Now, obviously the general public are not going in looking for silver and gold unless it's particularly something they like. So the moral of the story is, no matter what time of the day it is, if you haven't been through the box already, go through it. Because there's proof there that you, you can still pull pieces out. A couple of days ago, I done a video. I purchased quite a large group of mining memorabilia. I had miners' lamps, I had um, mining statues, um, uh, miners' strike plate, and so forth. Well, coincidentally, today I bought another Thomas and Williams of Aberdeen safety lamp. This one is numbered as well: two two nine four six one. Which is quite nice. It's a lovely lamp. Now, as I've already told you, they retail somewhere between forty and seventy pound on eBay. Um, I may merge this one into the uh, group because what I have said I was going to do, rather than potch about doing ten or twelve listings or whatever uh, for the group of mining memorabilia I've had, I said I was going to list in one lot, um, UK shipping only because of the weight, and chuck under it hundred and fifty quid on it. Well, I'll add this one into it and just up price slightly. Um, that way, the work doesn't get increased, but the money does. I don't see the point in doing multiple listings when I can sell it all to one collector. But really, really nice little uh, minus safety lamp there. What would have happened with these lamps? Um, instead of uh, blowing up when they went down the uh, mine, in here it would burn blue if there was gas present. So they were a major invention that saved millions, well, certainly thousands of lives. 
Coming over next then we have a beautiful piece of frosted Dartington crystal. Really nice shaped bowl. Now this is known as the palm bowl. Let's see if I can get him up. And there you have it. Beautiful, look at the design on that. Really, really, really nice quality. Comes boxed. It's never been out of the box. I had to unwrap it for the video. There's the box. All the foam and the seals and everything was still on there. Never been displayed. Piece of Dartington crystal like that. £30. Happy enough. I'm not going to moan about that. It came in. It was £3. Next then we have two pretty run-of-the-mill modern watches. Um, why did I buy them? Because at the end of the day they were all fed up. They wanted to go home and they were shouting everything a pound, everything a pound. We've got a chronograph here. And the chronograph actually works. Um, that was a pound. As you can see the watch is going around. A pound at the end of the day. And it was still there. And here we have a little quartz pocket watch. Quite pretty with the butterfly on the front. And again was a pound. Whether I put these two back out on the stall or whether I... Um, Put them on eBay, I haven't decided yet. They ain't gonna pull fortunes, but for a pound each, you're talking it's gotta be 10, 15 pounds in the watch and five or ten pounds in the little pocket watch. It's good profit, good business sense, guys. There we have it, guys. That's the uh, first part of the video. Um, I think you'll agree with me. A couple of really nice, interesting pieces. Some beautiful pieces of jewellery. It hasn't always got to be precious metal to be valuable or beautiful. I'll sell that polished stone necklace easier than I'll sell the silver bangle. Um, and there's more value in the stone. So always look for the um, the rare you know, polished stones, the agates. Um, to be honest with you, I can't even pronounce half the names of some of the stones, but they do some beautiful costume jewellery with just little silver or gold mounts. Don't be afraid to buy it just because it's not precious metal. You'll still make money on it. I got some beautiful coral pieces up for sale at the moment. Um, you can achieve good money on costume jewellery or dress jewellery. Obviously, some interesting pieces. I've got, I love the uh, diamond helmet. Miner's lamp, always uh, close to my heart. Close, uh, I live in the mining valleys of South Wales. So, yeah. And I quite like this little uh, model of the human body. So it's an interesting little mix. Um, obviously there's the crystals, but the crystals are my bread and butter. I've even made a video in the past on um, making money from car boot sales on crystal. Um, my next half of the video, which you'll see the following day, uh, so tomorrow maybe, uh, I got one of the most spectacular fruit bowls you'll see. Um, so, tune in for that one. Anyway guys, I'll, uh, I'll call it a day on this half. Um, hope you uh, found it interesting seeing these pieces. If you did, I would appreciate the like and the share. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We really are getting up there with the videos now. Well over 120 videos. You'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. And we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.